Mark Twain, in his book, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, tells a story that illustrates what Jesus did for you and I. In the chapter entitled, You Can't Pray a Lie, Huck finds himself in what he calls a tight place. He's befriended a runaway slave by the name of Jim, who is legally owned by a Mrs. Watson, who also has befriended Huck. Well, Jim eventually gets captured, and Huck feels guilty for what he's done. In fact, he feels like he's going to go to hell for what he's done. So he's trapped here with the social message that hiding a runaway slave means going to hell, and his friendship with Jim. So he tries to clear his conscience. He decides to write a letter to Mrs. Watson confessing what he has done. Once he's written the letter, he feels like he's clean again, like he can pray an honest prayer. But then he starts thinking about Jim and how Jim had never done anything to harm him and had always been good to him. He looks at the letter that he had just written and he thinks about Jim and he finally makes his decision. Okay then, he says, I'm going to hell. And he tears up the letter that he wrote to Mrs. Watson. That, in fact, is the decision that Jesus made when he came and dwelt among us. He gave up all of heaven so that you and I could be saved. Listen to what Paul says in Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 through 8. Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant, and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. And it is that death and his resurrection that makes life possible for you and I, not only today, but for all eternity. And because of this, you and I can make ourselves a great day.